Hello crafty friends, Dawn here. Today I thought I would get on the Halloween bandwagon. Halloween is one of my favorite kinds of cards to make and Whimsy Stamps is huge into Halloween and they have some of the most amazing Halloween stamps and dies and pattern paper. So let's get started and let me show you which products I chose to use today. I'm using the Whimsy Stamps Hey Boo stamp set. This stamp set is hilarious and it's awesome for a fun adult card. I'm going to pair it up with the tree assortment die and the howling night die set. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp my image with a black Copic friendly ink and then I'm going to die cut it with my brother's scanning cut. And then I cut out a whole bunch of these trees from some black cardstock because I don't know how many I want to use yet. So I'll just save whatever I don't use for another project. I took a circle die. You can use any circle die that you have. I used one about the size of a half dollar for the moon. I'm going to use the graveyard landscaping that comes with the howling night set i liked the tombstone and the cross for my background to die cut this i'm actually going to put the die to the left so that it hangs off of the paper and it's not going to cut all the way through on the right hand side of the paper but that's okay because my ghost is going to sit in the bottom right hand corner of the card and he's going to cover this side so once I run it through my die cut machine, I'm going to use my scissors to cut a line straight across to cut it out. And this will work great to cover the bottom of my trees on my card. Then I'm going to set all this aside for now and I'm going to ink blend an eerie kind of background. I'm going to start at the top of my paper and I'm going to use my Distress Oxide Chipped Sapphire. And I just blend all around the edges and bring it into the middle of the paper. I wipe off some of the ink onto my scrap paper so that I don't get a lot of those harsh dark spots on the paper. I'll bring in some Distress Oxide Faded Jeans and blend it with the chip Sapphire. I basically go back and forth with both colors until I have the desired look that I want. Then to make it a little bit more spooky, I take some Distress Oxide Black Soot and I go around the edges of the paper. Now, if you want the colors to be a little bit more drastic, then you can put a lot of the black soot, but I just wanted a little bit of contrast. Then I ink blend the moon with some fossilized amber, making the edges a little bit darker than the middle. And then to make it a little more spooky again, I take some of the black soot and I blend it all around the edges of the moon. Again, you can add as much or as little as you want. It's all about what you like and how drastic of a color you want. Now, I'm going to start to assemble my card. I did go ahead and color my image off screen only because I really didn't do a lot of coloring at all. I basically just colored the tombstone and then put a few highlights on the ghost. I will list the colors that I used in the description box below. Okay, so I'm just laying everything out where I want it to go so I can see how it looks and how many trees I might want on the paper. Now, the reason I use the tombstone background for uh, from the Howling Night is so that I can lay it over the trees so they look like they're in the distance and not just sitting on the card randomly. I just take the trees and move them so you can really see the cross and the tombstone. Once I have everything all set, I'm going to adhere all the trees down with my liquid glue. Make sure not to use a lot of the glue. I just used a little bit of dots here and there only because it will be easy to get glue on your background if you're not careful because these are really thin trees. I adhere the graveyard cutout to the bottom of the card and see how nice it covers the trees. It kind of makes them look like the trees sit in a distance. Then I'm going to quickly cut out the background down to a little less than five and a half and a little less than four and a quarter, just so you'll be able to see a, a small white trim around the card when we adhere it to the card base. I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment Happy Hollow Wine to the bottom of my card next to the ghost. 
I rub my paper with my embossing powder bag and then I stamp the sentiment with Versamark ink and I'm going to pour some silver embossing powder on it and when my heat tool is good and hot I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment. I take a piece of black craft foam and adhere it to the back of the card front. You can use white craft foam or you can use foam tape, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to use up the colors that I have. Then I adhere the entire card front to an A2 sized white card base. After looking at the card, I decided I had to have some ghosts flying around in the trees, so I used my all-time favorite Whimsy Stamps Boo die set. I love this die set so much. I use them on a lot of my Halloween cards, so I just cut out all five because I have no doubt I will use all of them in no time. I just adhere two of them to the front of the card like they're flying through the trees, and that's going to complete my card for today. I hope you like my first Halloween card of the season. I want to thank you for joining me on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. I would love for you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the card. Be sure to subscribe to the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel and their other social media platforms so you don't miss out on any upcoming releases and great inspirational videos. Also, check out their website for all their new releases. And as always, thank you for stopping by and spending your time with me. Have yourself a wonderful day.